Hey there guys, so despite that the Andromeda Galaxy is uh, one of the most photographed uh, deep sky objects uh, I noticed that uh, I never made it uh, really justice with my images So yeah, I think that uh, it's about time to change that Okay, so as you all know, the Andromeda Galaxy is a very big uh, deep sky object which gives an opportunity to image it uh, in uh, various different ways. Uh, I've seen amazing images uh, taken with uh, all sorts uh, of uh, focal length. I already shot it with a 300mm lens, but tonight I'm going to be using my 500mm telescope and the Andromeda Galaxy uh, fits almost exactly in the field of view of my DSLR, but uh, I have to tilt it just a little bit. So before I let my sequence run tonight, uh, I will spend some time uh, to frame up uh, Andromeda perfectly and it should stretch from corner to corner of my image. So yeah, uh, I better do that quickly. Okay, so I am done uh, composing my image and uh, I'm pretty happy with the way I framed it up. But uh, now the only thing that I have to figure out uh, if I'm going to stick to uh, 180 second exposures or I'll uh, increase it to 300 but yeah this is the only thing that I need to figure out now and uh, for anyone that's uh, interested uh, I'm uh, using the UHC filter and uh, this is probably the only filter that I will use tonight uh, except uh, I might take uh, the filter completely off and take uh, a few uh, short subs for, uh, for the star color but yeah I think that for now I'm uh, all set up now the only thing that is left is to turn off the light and start my sequence. So this is actually day two of me recording this video and uh, that's because I couldn't uh, finish it yesterday since uh, I was uh, shooting uh, quite a lot of b-roll and uh, just in case it sounds like I'm uh, suffocating it's because I caught a cold and I know that uh, everybody is uh, recommending to uh, to drink a lot of tea but uh, I don't know I just uh, like to stick to coffee but anyway so what I'm actually hoping for is that uh, tonight's imaging session will be the last before I uh, go and uh, find myself uh, a better spot for imaging uh, where there is less uh, light pollution since uh, all the gear I bought was uh, actually with the intent of uh, being portable and to be uh, as budget friendly as possible. I'm just having a fear that I will find myself uh, a really great spot and uh, then I will refuse to image uh, in my light polluted backyard and I know that it's a very comfortable and uh, convenient uh, image uh, from home but, uh, but sometimes I really wish that there was a complete blackout of electricity uh, of course without uh, any damaging uh, consequences uh, because it would be really nice to have a clear view on the Milky Way for once and maybe at that time send uh, some of the other people outside so they would stop uh, calling uh, our images fake so they could see it for themselves or maybe not even that because uh, some people just like to be miserable and making comments like everything is fake and uh, the earth is flat uh, makes their day just a little less uh, miserable so yeah maybe we should let them but anyway I'm going way off here again I've already made uh, quite a few attempts at uh, imaging the Andromeda galaxy but uh, I just never gathered uh, enough data to process it very well which brings me to the next point that I would like to mention so for those that are watching my videos uh, for a while now will know that uh, just before new year I started uh, a processing series and the videos usually came out uh, every Sunday but I actually stopped uh, making them and that's because that uh, in the beginning I got uh, many more requests to do some more advanced stuff but as soon as I start to posting the videos the questions about the basic processing uh, started to pile up but I didn't know where to include the answer in the videos with the specific uh, processing topics and I also thought that there's more than enough uh, videos like this uh, on YouTube already but for some reason some of you still like to see uh, how I do it so for those that are waiting to see some more advanced stuff uh, I have to say sorry but uh, you will have to wait for a bit 
because uh, I really want uh, for those that are just uh, starting in astrophotography to be able to catch up and then uh, follow along. So again, I'm really sorry if I created a confusion, but uh, I'm still trying to learn this uh, YouTube thing and uh, how to do it properly. But I do want to mention that I really appreciate uh, all of your support. It makes all those videos uh, really worth a while. But yeah, I think that that's all I wanted to say in this video. And I would like to thank you for watching and see you again next time. Take care. Bye.